Miami Proud is presented by FPL, working for you every single day. Learn more at fpl.com slash storm. All right, so about 300,000 children in Florida have a parent in jail or prison. That's according to the Casey Foundation, which is one of the nation's largest private philanthropic groups. Uh, in this week's Miami Proud, we showcase a local nonprofit that helps families recover from the trauma of incarceration when they return to their communities and their loved ones. It's called the 300 Letters Organization. CBS News Miami's Nakaya Carrero introduces us to the couple who founded it. 300 letters. That's how many letters Amanda Tarver and her husband, Legend Tarver, exchanged while incarcerated. And it's that experience as a family during that time that motivated them to help others just like them. I am a person that experienced incarceration the first time she ever got in trouble. Amanda Tarver, along with her husband, Legend Tarver, were indicted back in 2013. While she was pursuing a career in the medical field and he had just received his bachelor degree from FIU. I was just feeling so many mixed emotions, so much guilt, um, frustration. I had a lot of anxiety. I didn't know the, the two years ahead of me felt like a lifetime. Out of the two jobs that I had still wasn't enough, so I just started selling drugs and um, I continued to educate myself. I went and I got a college education. Um, I got my... I obtained my bachelor's degree in December and then I was indicted in January the next year. A mother of a six year old Amanda was sentenced to two years, finding out she was pregnant with her second son when she arrived to prison in 2015. And it was her experience as a mother in prison that opened her eyes. I'd say 90% of the women there, moms, were first time offenders. and. That already took me aback immediately because I couldn't believe how many moms were being pulled away from their child from their children. Legend was having a similar experience during his sentence. The most common denominator was just people who were um, impoverished and just didn't have much to, to start off with, didn't maybe have guidance, and there's a lot of single um, family homes as well. According to a report from the Prison Policy Initiative, 47% of people in state prison are parents to minors, and living through that journey as a family is what led to the birth of the 300 Letters organization. Their goal? Break cycles and keep families together. And what we focus is on teaching women about resources, uh, rehabilitation while they're incarcerated. So we're mentally prepared because reentry starts the day you get incarcerated. Um, you have to be prepared for everything that will come along with this experience. And it's no longer uh, those people over there that are going through it. This is a problem that's happening to all of us, um, our neighbors, um, people in our community. The Tarvers say eventually they want to grow 300 letters nationwide. In Miami, Nakaya Carrero, CBS News, Miami.